from Stan Saputo in Montreal, Canada. Tonight, the Philadelphia Union take on the Montreal Impact. And for Philadelphia, Michael Lahoud coming into the right midfield slot. Freddie Adu partnering up front to Jack McInerney's left. And only two changes to the Montreal lineup that defeated the Red Bulls last week. Validity of how strong he is at the back, let alone a defensive holding midfielder, with the capacity to play in midfield as well. And we are underway in Montreal. The impact moving from our right to left on television, wearing the white jerseys with the blue shorts, and the Union have the blue road kits on. There's a lot of subtleties even playing the 4-3-3 so depending on the opponent, the weather, the number of games they're playing, it all comes into the mix in John's decision. What a run by Valdez. Pahoy gets in front. Two men on. Goes far post and just misses it. Carlos Valdez full field run and Pahoy misses the finish by about six inches. What a nice play. Little back heel saved by Riggins and then this one, the full field run. Look at Carlos go. I think everyone thought he was going to stop. Maybe it's the lightness without the headgear. What a great run. Pahoy splits the two defenders. Great shot. Just off the post. Unlucky. Six inches away. And Ricketts beat. Piece of professional work by Pahoy. And the free kick set it head down and hard and saved by Donovan Ricketts. McInerney gets another head on it. Wow. I think Jack was surprised that ball actually cleared and he found himself that open. The ball was played in, he's coming from the hack, pushes him off. Ricketts in position. Donovan Ricketts, a member of last year's MLS Cup champions. He was lights out the first 15 games last season, seven shutouts, he gets hurt. They put Saunders in goal and win the cup, so they let him go. And uh, Montreal gets themselves an international veteran, a good anchor for their back. Don't concede a goal at this point in the match in the first half. Played short. Bernier chips it, headed, and goal! And there's exactly what you didn't want to see happen. And they do look like the Union tonight. Got outplayed and then picked up the late goal, and Montreal takes a 1-0 lead. And John's going to be unhappy for a couple of reasons. One, the fact that they played the short ball out to Bernier, there was a little movement in the marking that freed up Wenger getting a pretty clear header. Bernier just chips it in. Oh, and the rookie from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's a brilliant header, no doubt about it. Goes to the backside, and Zach McMath, nothing he can do about it. Oh, just put right to the far post. Well done. one nothing Montreal, and loses control to Nesta. Justin Mapp turns around to Kugo. Ahead to Felipe, onside shot, save McMath. Zach McMath is where he needed to be. Nesta plays the ball, just a map, turns a Kugo, slips the ball to Felipe. Well positioned, Zach McMath makes a good save. That could have been a backbreaker. Zach McMath makes the play. Across the back line, to open up and expose Nesta, Rivas, and Ferrari. They're too big. We have small forwards. If you play it directly. Oh! That's head a red the card. Opener. That's a red, red card. card. It's a red card right there. And McInerney's on him. That was Rivas. Rivas. And now this is going to get ugly. That was a headbutt. That's a red card. And you can enjoy a couple of games watching it. That's that. a lot more than a red card. That was malicious. That should be three to five game suspension. At least. Unacceptable. Now, Hopano started things by throwing him down, but that was a little too much on the back end. There's the red card for Rivas. Have a nice time enjoying the rest of the match, and the three or five you're going to miss. And McInerney's red carded as well. 
Back in one. Yep. Jack, Jack McInerney came in to yep. defend his teammate. He gets a red card, so the Union do not get a man advantage. He'll be looking at 10 on 10, and that's a young Jack McInerney having to know when to step back. Look at this. See you later, buddy. Uncalled for thuggery in the middle of the pitch. And McInerney came in, he was angry, but that's a mistake you can't make. It is a mistake. Both coaches are going to be angry at both those players for not having more composure. They really put both their teams in jeopardy. Nelson Rivas. But that's one of the worst. Who said fouls. Montreal was a friendly city? Quick distribution. Freddie Adu can't control. Kamara coming all the way forward. Hasun Kamara. Shot! Goal! And that will be a candidate for MLS Goal of the Week. What a finish by Felipe. And Felipe had not done much all evening, but you can see why he's such a threat. They're firing up the crowd in Saputo. Kamar plays a beautiful ball inside. Just beautiful technique. Side scissors, takes it out of the air. Hits it well, right in the corner. Great goal. And give the impact credit in that they brought Kamar forward. They weren't sitting back. They went for the throat, and they got it. As the far fan, Michael tries to chip it, ricochet, it? Yes. loose, yes. Oh, no. somehow Carlos Valdez is stopped. He was there. Oh. My goodness, I was getting ready to call goal. I thought it was in. Not the Union's night. Here's the ball, Michael Farfan. Ricketts makes the save, it comes off, and it just came up to a place where Carlos, there was nothing yeah. he could do. It was it caught up about knee, knee height, yep. and there's nothing you can do to react there. It's either in or it's out. There's just going to be a lot of dynamics. There's going to be a lot of X's and O's and big decisions by the coaches for the union this week. And there's the final whistle. The Montreal Impact rewarding their home crowd at Stade Saputo with a 2-0 shutout victory over the Philadelphia Union.